Yo guys, welcome back to King Owls, and yes, so basically today I was meant to be filming a video about Terence Crawford and Jaron Ennis Boots, but um, while I was playing for that video, I was looking through the welterweight uh, division rankings, and they are ridiculously poor, I'm not going to lie. The, 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 the division of welterweight is very, very, very poor. You, like... I'm not saying it's not competitive with, you know, quite a few other fighters, but it's very poor with some fighters that we got in there. And the skill gap between the top three at welterweight, which are, of course, Terence Crawford, Boots and Spence, you've got those top three. Below them, the skill gap is massive. There is li it's literally not competitive between with Terence Crawford and anyone below Spence or Boots. There's not competitive, it's not competitive. And then with Boots, anyone apart from Crawford and Spence is not competitive. He's not competitive with anyone else. Levels above. Errol Spence, apart from getting absolutely battered by Crawford, he's he's levels above everyone that uh, everyone apart from Crawford and Boots. Simple as that. It, it, he and yeah, uh, the skill gap's massive between the main big three in that welterweight division. Uh, it's it, it, it's a joke to be honest with you. We're gonna go through the we're gonna go through their rankings now. So, um, let's go through them. Well, so in like the WBO, you've got um. You've got uh, you've got Crowley. Like, like to be fair, Crowley's a decent fighter, but he is levels below Boots, um, Crawford, and Spence. But he is a good fighter. He's kind of at that next level. And you know, at welterweight, there are some good competitive matchups. And my point is, is that you know, there's so many people in that division who won't be able to compete while you know the big three are there. Then you've of course got. Um, Stan Talon, which, you know, again, he's going to be able to compete, of course. But then, like, you just look at it and it's just really non-competitive, if we're being honest with you. Like, there's Ugas there, and then you go, then you've got um, um, Eku Asuman, who's in the rankings, who's a, a big, uh, well, you know, he's one of British, who's one of the main British welterweights. Then, I mean, again, it's it's just poor looking at this. You've got David Avenissian who's there, but again, levels below. There's literally no one up there that will really be able to compete with uh, any of these top guys, if we're being honest with you. I mean, like we had Sean Porter in there. Obviously, he retired, but, you know, he was the kind of guy who was, you know, kind of able to compete at the top, of course, but he wasn't at the level of Spence or Crawford. Obviously, Crawford beat him in uh, uh, in Porter's uh, retirement fight. Um, like, if we look at, so, if, so I'm on Crawford record, we look at his record here, and we're just gonna, you know, name quite a few of these guys, and just show, like, how leveled, like, the levels they are below, uh, and, 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 and that's the thing with everyone, like, there's no, what my point is, is that no one can compete with Spence Boots, or, um, Crawford, like uh, uh, I also want to mention uh, Romian uh, Villa. Of course, he was, uh, I, I believe, his boots, his last opponent. Again, like he's the kind of guy who's no pushover, but the levels were clear between boots and Villa. The levels were, uh, were clear. I mean, you know, Villa's a guy who can be in there in some good competitive fights with some, uh, uh, with a lot of fighters, but uh, not boots, not Spence, not Crawford. So, we look at, like, Jose Benavidez Jr. Again, I mean, Crawford beat him years ago, though. I'm, I'm not really going to mention him. We had Amir Khan. Again, you know, he's kind of... Amir Khan's kind of that level below uh, Sean Porter, if we're being honest with you. Then you th then we had Kel Brook, uh, welterweight. Again, like, he's that level below Sean Porter. I mean, did he beat Sean? Him and Sean Porter fought, I believe, actually. But, um... 
But again, like he's kind of in that like level below anyway, though, really, if we're being honest. Um, and then like you've got like the David Avenissians, who again are just he's just he's just levels below. Like, you know, Avenissian was on a good winning streak, to be fair, before that Crawford fight. He was knocking out, he was, you know, beating up a load of uh British guys, then eventually um went up and Crawford just showed him those levels. Uh, oh, another guy, um, Cavalisicus. Like, you guys know I'm talking about Cavalisicus. I can't say his name properly because uh, it's a ridiculously hard surname to say. But you guys know what I mean. You know, a guy who's been in there with some decent guys in that welterweight division, but he's just he's just levels below, isn't he, really, if we're being honest with you? He is. He is just levels below um a lot of those guys but again like he he'll be in some good competitive fights in that division he's just he's not a world title kind of guy though is he, he he's not and then obviously i mean virgil ortiz jr like we can chuck him in there as well again like it's just Virgil T. Jr., he's on that kind of come up, to be fair, but he's just ridiculously inactive. He's ridiculously inactive. So, you know, it's going to be hard to really see uh, someone like v Virgil Ortiz up there in the in that big top three, to be honest with you. Um, I, like, it, he is. I want to see Virgil Ortiz do well, because I do like Virgil Ortiz. But he's... I just feel like with how inactive he is, he's not going to be a really kind of guy that could be able to beat Crawford's um, Spence or uh, Boots. He could be in. A, he could try and take a competitive fight to that, but he's nowhere near. His, he's not on the level of them, is he? And then again, let's look here. Um, Connor Ben again, not on that level. Nowhere near like how good as as, as he thinks he is. Connor Ben. Um, it's just, I just feel like it's, it's, it's poor because no one's going to be, it's, I mean, in a way it could be a hot take because as I've been saying throughout this video, there is some competitive matches in there when you're not including that top three. There is, but when you're looking at these other guys below that big top three contending for world titles, they're not going to, they're not going to be able to get past them. It's, it's so obvious to be honest with you. It is obvious. Um, and again, like, looking for Adrian Broner. Again, like, not going to be able to compete with those top three. Can't compete with those top three. So, yeah, that's my point. I just feel like it's poor and no one in that division will really be able to compete with the really top guys, uh, to be honest with you. And it's as simple as that. Like, they just show it in all of their fights, like the skill level. Spence, with everyone that he's for, he's just shown different levels. And, you know, these are guys that, you know, Errol Spence has fought some, you know, guys with some good records. Same as Crawford. Like, you know, on paper, like, they, they are good wins, but they're just levels above them, though. Like, you know, they've Spence has got good wins. Crawford's got good wins. Not to take anything away from their resumes. Of course not. It's just that, the point is, is that all of these guys are just levels below. And, you know, that's just Crawford, Spence, and Boots are just so bloody good. Like, if we look at um, uh, this Errol Spence record here. So, he's for you guys. That's a good win. But he's levels below. Danny Garcia, solid win. But he's levels below. Sean Porter, great win. But he's quite a few levels below. Um, but you know, Sean Port is a guy who can compete though. But again, he, 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 he loses to, he, he's lost to Crawford and spent, uh, Mikey Garcia, decent win, but you know, below Carlos Campo, decent win, but his levels below then like Kel Brook again, levels below. And this isn't their fault. I'm not trying to say it's their fault, by the way, what I'm trying to say is, is that none of these, like, you know, there's quite a few guys that need to up their game to be able to compete. We look at Crawford records, obviously, Errol Spence, of course. Uh, David Avenissian, like, you know, he's been beating some, like, you know, David Avenissian was on a good win streak before he fought Crawford. It's a decent name. Sean Porter, again, good win. Kel Brook, Cavalisicus, 
Amir Khan, Jose Benavidez Jr., Jeff Hall. Like, you know, we've seen some decent wins um, on, on the records. It's just that everyone else is just levels below. Anyway, look, I'm going to this video here. I hope you guys, you know, get the gist of it. I'm not, my point is, I'm not trying to say that the division is absolutely awful and really uncompetitive because you've got some good fights there who, uh, which, uh, which don't include Crawford, Spence, and Boots because, you know, those three are just levels above everyone, in my opinion. My point is, is that, you know, we just need to see some more competitive uh, guys, and you know, like we need to see more people in that title picture who we really do think could actually stand a big chance of taking out Crawford, Spence, or Boots, which aren't, which you know, aren't the fights with Crawford and Boots, who are obviously you know two top guys in the division. Crawford, Spence, like we need some more guys in that mix. Anyway, I'm gonna ask for you. Thanks for watching. Be okay. I'll speak to you in a bit. Thanks for watching. Peace out.